Moving away from a silo system of long lines, a tedious information gathering process, and long turnaround time, the Social Security Board introduced an online platform, My Social Security. This was launched in March 2021 to improve their service delivery. Since then, upgrades to the online portal continues and Paranza, the Social Security platform, was fully unveiled today. The Social Security Board's Chief Executive Officer, Deborah Ruiz, explained that this digital transformation was a strategic investment to help reduce administrative costs and accelerate processes. Among sister organizations, there is agreement as reported by the International Social Security Association, the ESA, of which we are a member, that institutional transformation to achieve management excellence involves three governance strategies, digital by default, collaborative by default, and developing a data-driven administration. All three strategies aim to achieve smarter, faster, better, more transparent, and a more responsive social security. A data-driven administration means leveraging quality data and analytics to improve processes and decision-making. Smart use of the information that accumulates in our massive social security database will enable us to improve efficiency, enhance customer services, and control evasion and fraud. The Social Security Board's Chief Information Officer, Ward McGregor, highlighted that both employers and the insured will have Social Security at their fingertips. Their goal is to minimize the turnaround time to process a claim due to incomplete or inadequate forms. The My Social Security portal, right, we have, um, they can register, they can manage your registration information. That's all the information about you that Social Security have. You'll be able to do, see that online, manage it yourself. The only thing you won't be able to change, obviously, is your social security number, right? That is it from birth to after. Although the Social Security Board has implemented advancements to their online platform, many Belizeans have been unable to adequately take advantage of these services. Application for a new social security card or renewal must be done virtually. However, some persons claim that it has become a cumbersome task and appointments are set too far along. The Service Management General Manager, Arlene Neal, explains how they will tackle this situation. The Service Management team is actually looking at enhancing the appointment um, availability to at least um, three or four appointments per, per service agent per the hour. So in the next week or two, you should see a boost in terms of availability of appointments. Our high traffic branches, they have, we have appointments out to two months. Um, we recognize that and we will impact that so that you have easier access to the service. Neil added that the linking process to access the online platform will also be seeing improvements in the upcoming weeks. We are boosting up the service to, prompt, um, to improve in the linking, to ensure that it is done faster. If we're engaging in an online platform, we have to be able to service our customers to access that platform. So we're definitely boosting the services to link um, accounts more timely. We do ask customers who sign up on the portal that when they um, indicate a contact number, that it is their number. Because what our, custom, what our staff experience is that when we reach out to that individual via that number they provide, it's not for them, they don't answer, or they don't have time at that particular time to, for us to con do the validation so that you could access the account. One of the approaches that we are planning to do very shortly is to even um, engage staff on a Saturday, which may be a more appropriate time for persons. With the new portal that we're about to deploy, that will um, have customers reach out to us on a WhatsApp number so that when you do that, we know that you're already and available for us to do that linking for you. Giovanna Mogel for Love News.